Concord Aircraft Battery Video Training Series, Battery Safety. Hello, my name is Walter Heine. I'm the Director of Sales with Concord Battery. I would like to welcome you to the Concord Aircraft Battery Maintenance Training Video Series. We have developed this video series to help you service and maximize the life of your Concord Aircraft Battery. I would like to introduce you to our Vice President of Advanced Battery Technology, Dr. Dave Vudotakis. He will be taking us through battery safety. There are many aspects of battery safety and each one can have a direct impact on maintenance technicians and aircraft operators. Dave, could you explain the key aspects of battery safety? I sure can. All safety precautions are covered in our component maintenance manuals, more commonly known as the CMMs. There is a CMM for RG Series main aircraft batteries and a separate CMM for RG Series emergency aircraft batteries. The safety aspects are the same in both CMMs. A list of the safety hazards is shown on the screen. These include A, low capacity hazard, B, electrical burn hazard, C, danger of exploding batteries, D, chemical burn hazard, and E, damage to equipment. Well, these are obviously important safety topics. Can you please go through them? With pleasure. Regarding the low capacity hazard, the FAA generally requires aircraft batteries to provide backup power in the event of a generator system failure. Never use a battery that has less than 80% of its rated capacity and never jump start an aircraft that has a dead or discharged battery. Think aircraft safety, not just battery safety. Regarding the electrical burn hazard, batteries can generate very high levels of current if the terminals are shorted together. The object that causes the short circuit will get very hot due to the high current and will cause a burn hazard. To prevent electrical burns, take off any metallic jewelry such as bracelets and necklaces that could potentially cause a short circuit across the battery terminals. Also, do not allow your belt buckle to contact the battery connector. Getting burned by a shorted belt buckle is more common than you might think. Obviously, it's not a good idea to place tools or other, other metal objects across battery terminals. For example, you may be tempted to use a steel ruler or a caliper to measure the distance between battery terminals. As some of us have found out the hard way, severe damage to you and the tool can happen pretty rapidly. As an extra precaution, it's a good idea to install battery terminal protectors when the battery is not connected to test equipment. Regarding the danger of exploding batteries, lead acid batteries can cause explosions because they produce hydrogen and oxygen while on charge. However, there should not be any danger of explosion if you take the following precautions. First, make sure the work area is well ventilated so any hydrogen given off by the battery gets adequately diluted. Second, don't smoke, use an open flame, or cause sparking near a battery. Remember that there could be local areas of hydrogen buildup in the vicinity of the battery even if the work area is well ventilated. Third, wear proper eye protection when servicing batteries such as safety goggles or a face shield. And finally, do not charge a battery at constant current when it is installed in the aircraft. Constant current charging should only be done in a well-ventilated area because a significant amount of hydrogen gas may be released from the battery. Battery compartments on most aircraft do not have adequate ventilation to handle the extra volume of hydrogen that is released. So this would cause a potential explosion hazard on the aircraft. Regarding the chemical burn hazard, lead acid batteries contain sulfuric acid in the electrolyte, which can cause severe chemical burns. To avoid chemical burns, the following precautions should be taken. Never remove or damage the vent valves. Avoid contact with the battery's electrolyte if the battery gets cracked or broken open. 
Don't touch your eyes after touching the battery. Wash your hands first. If electrolyte does get into your eyes or on your skin, flush thoroughly with clean, cool water for several minutes and get medical attention as soon as possible. And finally, the last point is regarding equipment damage. To prevent equipment damage, ensure that the aircraft battery switch, external power source, or the charger analyzer is in the off position before connecting or disconnecting the battery. If the circuit is not off when making or breaking connections, the battery terminals may arc and cause damage to the battery, equipment cables, or both. Thank you, Dave. That is a lot of valuable information regarding the safety aspects of batteries. It certainly is, Walter. If these instructions are followed, then all potential safety hazards will be fully mitigated. Also, as a reminder, the CMMs provide full coverage of the safety hazards and precautions that I have been talking about. To complete your training, please take time to read the safety summary in the CMM. Also, take time to read the SDS, Safety Data Sheet, for additional information. The CMM and SDS are posted on the Concord Battery website for easy access. Finally, if you have any questions on this subject, contact Concord's Customer Service Department. Thank you everyone, be safe.